can see that during the shoot, we sustained a few injury like this one. Okay, I'll censor this off and the hands. So these are from, so these are from like sharp rocks and maybe glass uh, on the place itself. These are some of the hazard that's like we cannot control one. Therefore, during our training plans, maybe something we look, uh, look out for. on a Saturday morning and I'm here uh, waiting for a shuttle bus to go to focus for board repair this is the third or fourth week of board repair because there's a lot of intensive repair required and I'm actually not early uh, my teammates or uh, my friends are uh, started working on the board since 8 30 a.m. Hey. Ah. Go, 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 Oh my god, when we are eating, as we are eating lunch halfway, we have a newcomer, we have a new member, which is the peacock. <laughs> the peacock is hungry. It's, it's trying to steal our food. Oh no, no, the peacock is coming back, the peacock is coming back. Yeah, you go with ah. Ah. Go with ah. Okay, y'all eat, y'all eat. I got, I got. Raw, <laughs> raw. <laughs> How do you scare a peacock? Raw, <laughs> raw. <laughs> That's the music. Okay, okay, okay. Music, music, music. Why is my blast so long? Already there. Okay, it looks like it works. For a baby. All I know, no one will come. She's got to save him. Daily struggle. She tells him, Ooh, love. No one's ever gonna hurt you, love. I'm gonna give you all of my love. Nobody matters like you. Stay up, man. Stay up, man. The bot repairs now going for training, beach training now. Gonna get the craft out. You wanna be? Shoot, uh... Okay, actually I can't say that, but yeah, I'm helping out with some shoot. Uh, yes, um, I'm very well rested this morning. I'm very well rested this morning because yesterday halfway around editing, I think it's 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Right, I fell asleep. Then the next time I woke up is 7 a.m. I didn't even set any alarm or what. Well, lucky I woke up there, but it's still running. 
the shoe is uh, the, 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 event, uh, the shoe I'm going for is uh, I'm helping out with this uh, at 9 p.m. later at Changi Beach, and after the shoot, I'll surf a little bit later. Yeah, to practice reading the waves and stuff like that. It's a new location that I'll be at least the first time I'll be uh, surfing there actually. So we'll see, we'll see how uh, the place is. Uh. Right, see you guys at Changi. Alright, so now we are after the shoot and let me introduce you to my friends. So these are two group of people, they are from SLGC. Hi! They are very experienced competitor in the Singapore life saving field. And we are tra I'm training uh, in Changi Airport now. Uh, at Changi Airport, check. Changi, <laughs> Changi, Beach, Changi, Beach, Changi Beach. This is, uh, this is where they are, uh, their main training ground is, so I'm here to find out uh, what are the hazards and stuff like that. Uh, some of the things that we look at is like this black color strip down here, they are actually rocks. So these are things that we uh, take note of during training and you can see that during the shoot we sustained a few injury like this one okay I'll censor this off and the hands so these are from so these are from like sharp rocks and maybe glass uh, on the place itself these are some of the hazard that's like we cannot control one therefore during our training plans we need something we look, uh, look out for probably in my training now I won't be doing a lot of launch I'll do more on the endurance pedal side Alright, see you guys in the water. trying to learn how to position myself such that I can catch uh, these, uh, the, the waves and for example like this ideally you want to be positioned when you see a wave here you want to position right here your surfboard right here and to catch this kind of wave right you need be, to be like at the right place right time with the right speed as well and you need to shift your CG all this kind of thing and in the competition uh, for the most seasoned athletes this is something like very natural for them to do uh, yeah so I'm going with my competitors, potential competitors, most of them they can do this like with ease kind of thing. And for myself, I feel that sometimes when I catch the wave, right, most of the time it's by luck. Right? So I'm trying to up these skills such that I can be at the right place, right time. And of course every place is different. The place I'm racing at, which is Gold Coast, they may have a different behavior. But in general, the the, the, the concepts are the same. Like what, how do these wave form? Because maybe here about shallow bank. All these concepts, uh, physics concepts are uh, uh, set stones and they are like the universal law they won't change so what i'm trying to practice is the skills to be at the right place right time to catch this kind of place good morning everybody it's a monday morning time now is uh, 7 44 and i'm waiting for my uh, bus to work 
Today I skipped morning training and morning breakfast. I'm heading straight to work because yesterday I ended my day at about 1.30ish, 1.40ish. Uh, it was a long day for me yesterday, just like every other day, right? But yeah, so I didn't, uh, I, as of now, I, I, I'm prioritizing on sleep, so I'll skip the morning training and yeah. Hello everybody, time now is uh, 11.51 and I'm eating my lunch now with my friends. Friends from work. <laughs> and today lunch is very healthy, it's like the athletes, uh, the athletes uh, recommended one, you have brownie. So you have chicken right, very little fat and rice, very little all the like seasoning and stuff like that. Perfect for perfect for athletes. I'm eating this in preparation for tonight. Uh, then my later I take a new fork. Yes, uh, lunchtime now. See you guys at uh, probably training after work. Hello everybody. Uh, I'm after work now. Time is 4:30. Today is slightly early because I'm here. Uh, I left work early to go for my medical review and it's one of the benefits that my company provides uh, and I'm very grateful for this uh, for, for this uh, for having this insurance uh, it's part of the insurance so for those who do not know right uh, insurance is uh, like mandatory for all company but uh, the insurance that my company chose covers extra stuff uh, which is uh, the uh, health checkup annual health checkup as well as dental uh, coverage and I think this is very important for me uh, personally myself and also for my family members as well because uh, my health is very important to them as well oh wow look at the queue down here uh, yeah I got to queue up for a medical review time now is 527 uh, apparently the brownie I ate although very nice didn't last very long my stomach I'm still hungry right now so I'm gonna grab my dinner before I head to the training area. Uh, yeah. Dinner, 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 dinner. No car I like, can cross or not. Also, the how long me? I wait for the traffic light. <laughs> I shall wait for the traffic light. Okay, press. Ah, okay. Green light, green man. Hey, can cross. Okay, dinner time. Wow. So I, I'm eating this Thai fan right and I think this brother is uh, going to want to pang kang ready. It's 5.30 uh, and I order one ikka ro liang ke ikka ro liang ke chai. Look at the amount he gives me. Like one mountain here. And this is like 4 bucks only. Uh. And he give me one extra chicken. He say, ah, okay, 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 okay. Awesome, man. Okay, dinner time. <laughs> right, time now is 7.15. With the clock, 7.15 and I'm ready for the evening training sets. Swim training, let's go. Right, time check again now is 10 12. I think we are quite good on time. Today feels like uh, today is a good day for me, uh, work wise and also training wise. Feels good, man. But before I head home, I'm gonna have this orange juice. I'm very thirsty right now. Feels like an orange juice would help. Uh, this is the first time I actually buy from this, so what do I do? I guess I just wait. And auto, auto up. Oh, okay, okay, I can see the orange juice. Oh, they squeeze two oranges. Oop. There is one orange. There is a second orange. Just drop down. Is there not enough juice? Oh, actually, how do I know this already? Oh, oh, oh it's here juicing 99%. Auto up. Oh, okay, this is auto up. Ah, okay. Might as well just stick it like that. No straw one. Straw? Straw? Uh, please grab the juice in 60 seconds. Well, I guess there's no straw here. Alright, drink this juice. Am I supposed to drink it like that? Don't know. There already no straw. Huh? Straw, straw, straw. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Draw your straw. Okay. Oh, there was a draw your straw. Straw here. Shake, shake, shake. Ah, 
feels good. That's my bus, I'm going to run for it. Oh my god, this is like a marathon. Huh? I'm definitely going to catch that bus. But orange juice is more important. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good morning everybody, it's a Tuesday morning, time now is 6.29, I'm heading to the gym right now, today is a typical uh, work day, like there's no event before, no event after, so it's just purely work, uh, I'm gonna train once before work and once after work, mm, probably I'll arrange a dinner with my mom, cause tomorrow she is going on a holiday trip, for 10 days so you'll be for a while I don't uh, I won't see her for a while I'll make uh, an effort to have dinner with her tonight away from my evening training sets uh, time now is it's 8 44 uh, just finished dinner I'm very full right now and I'll use this time to rest and digest uh, have a good two hours of rest I'm gonna sleep a bit weird to sign sleep at night after I wake up and then, and then go exercise right but yeah that's the plan <laughs> it'll be a tough endurance set later uh, and that's not all after the training, I will head back home as fast as I can and rest for the day because tomorrow morning, bright and early, I'm going to go for a swim set also endurance base or uh, rather is to complement this training I'm trying to see how, uh, how it goes and during the 2 hours break I'm having like now I need to pack, uh, prepare the items, the whatever I need for work my swim equipment for tomorrow everything needs to be prepared like right now if not there's a high chance I may not push through the training, the full endurance set. Yeah, uh, motivated, but at the same time, it's a, motivated and ready for the challenging set ahead. Hello, everybody. The time now is 11:10. I just woke up actually. Uh, yeah, I just woke up uh, from my nap. I realized wow, it's too late to start the set right now. If not, it will, uh, yeah. Uh, if not, I will complete it at almost like uh, close to 12.30 to 1. So, uh, there's a change of plan. I'm gonna just uh, sleep all the way until tomorrow morning. 
and I'll start my day tomorrow morning early uh, to start my endurance set. Alright, we'll come back to complete the set tomorrow morning. Good morning, it's a Wednesday morning. Time now is it's 5.13 right now. I've been very ambitious to try and complete a set yesterday night. Uh, in a worst possible state. Okay, not very worst possible state. So right, normally after work or if, you're, if I'm trying to do training after work, there's like a, a rule of thumb is like you need to do it as fast as you can. Uh, if you come back after work, you can't sit in your house for more than 10 minutes. If not, the chance for you to uh, go do the workout, right, is very little. But yesterday, I was very ambitious. I even, after coming back, I went to take a nap first and hope that I can wake up and go for the training. Uh, so that's why I uh, failed. Like. I'm running a little bit tight on time uh, and then uh, for my morning workout didn't manage to complete didn't manage to complete a full set I completed two-thirds of it even so I think I will barely make it on time for work today I work at 8 30 so I I need to be at my workplace at 8 30 based on the current uh, time now it's 7 45 I should be just nice on time like I won't be late but yeah the time now is 6 30 it's 6 30 now i'm done with my work day physically i feel fine but energy wise i'm very lethargic sounds like my body is telling me to go sleep go sleep and that's exactly what i'm gonna do right now after i go home i'm gonna rest and after that when my energy if my energy level go up uh to a to a certain level i feel good i feel okay to go train I'll go ahead for a training session at the gym and then after that I'll go for dinner. Right, sleep now. It's 8.15 right now. I'm well rested right now and I'm heading to the gym, cycling to the gym. And today, this evening's gym focus is the Nordic Hamstring Curl. Uh, yeah. chest press workout yeah. 
Today evening I'll have another training which is a swim training uh, but in the middle I'll be working and today is quite a challenging day there's quite a lot of things to do uh, to prepare for tomorrow's hiking event so I'm not sure if I would end on time hopefully I do uh, stay tuned to find out <music> almost 8 50 throughout my commute i have been very hungry but i'm holding i'm ho and i'm holding my breakfast been there to stop to eat it oh, by the way you cannot eat it in the singapore transport system you cannot eat in a bus or train so i've been holding my breakfast looking at my breakfast throughout my commute to work because i'm scared if i stop to eat right later i late for work uh, now i'm early today commute was quite Today's commute is quite smooth. Now I'm early. We've got about 10 minutes to eat. Yeah, hungry, hungry. Alright, time now is almost 7. Uh, it's 6.59 and I'm here for swim training. Didn't have time to eat dinner before my work. Uh, yeah, after work I just rush here straight for training. <laughs> is the midnight noodles so that's the only thing i can eat other than like prata gonna eat that for dinner very hungry good morning everybody it's a friday morning time now is it's 6 36 right now and i'm heading for breakfast not morning training breakfast uh then after straight to work because today i have a high key event uh, for my company so I'll be skipping morning uh, training for today uh, and I'm not sure what time will end, I will end today but if I end uh, on time I would probably train at the track for this evening training yeah I haven't hit the track for a very long time I'll do some interval sets plus uh, track and field drills leg drills yeah the time now is uh, it's 3.36 right now and I just left office. I'm done with the day work at the office side. There's still work to be done uh, but the, for the office side, I'm done. So it's a lucky day today. Uh, it's a good day also. <laughs> good Friday. It's a good Friday. Yeah, next week is good Friday but yeah, it's a good Friday today. I end work uh, slightly earlier. So I'm going to bring forward my training today. Uh, maybe about 4.30 to 5 just before dinner time. I will do one set of like try and few training and then after that I will rest for the night for the weekends What's up everybody? I'm currently cycling to Kalang practice track Time now is it's 5.47 right now I'm on the way to, uh, for track and few training Honestly, I've been very long since I've done any track and field workout I don't have a good sense of what my current standard, my 400 time so today's training is also like a deep stick test to check uh, what's my 400 meter time I'm comfortable with so that I can plan future training around my stand current standard. Uh, I honestly also do not know if the place is available free to use because from my understanding, quite a lot of team trains there uh, at Kalang practice track. And at this time, about 6 p.m. at that time, I think it should be quite crowded but we will see once we get there. Yeah. See you guys on the track. Right, I've just reached Kalang practice track. Apparently, somehow I thought that it's open to public, but 
Right now, uh, the gate is closed and there seems to be nobody there. Uh, a lot of things is fenced up. It's, it's private property now. I'm not very sure what's happening. Maybe I'll go to the main gate and check out if I can use this place. If I can't, uh, maybe I will train at the park connector instead. Right, I'm at the main gate of the Kalang practice track right now. Home of athletics. And I found out why it's closed. Apparently they are closed because there is an event uh, happening from 21st to 24th March. Today is 22nd, so I probably won't be training here. But I can see some people training at the shelter way outside. Maybe I'll do the same. Uh, yeah, there are probably trackers and I can see someone training javelin down here as well. Maybe I shall train rope throw down here also. Can compare different throwing techniques, right? Throw with the javelin people. Oh, I found out why they are throwing down here at the, the area that the area just now that I show. Apparently, this is like this is a throwing area. Uh, there you can see this brown color patch of grass or that stone sand whatever thing. That's where they practice like the shot put event. Wow. I think we can. Well, I don't have any shot put friends or throwing friends, but. I think we can link up. The thing about life saying, right, we do a lot of things under the sun, uh, and throwing happens to be one of them also. Because we do, uh, there's an event in life serving called rope throw. I say it's called line throw. Yeah, basically we throw line to like save people. We also throw stuff. You guys can throw javelin, uh, your short put, and life saving guys, we throw the ropes. We can like exchange technique. Anybody want to link up, uh, train together? Maybe if I got a friend from throwing, they can also try like the rope throw, the line throw. They may have better technique, better idea, different kind of thinking, you see, different uh, perspective. They can bring different perspective into the sport. Alright, I found a quite ideal place to train at. This is uh, outside National Stadium. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of people down here though. Uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's surprise to me. surprising to me. Like, I was expecting a bit more people, you know. Usually they have activities and events. Yeah, I can basically run like this, uh, this tree track down here. Not very sure what's the distance. Uh, might modify the track. May not go one whole loop because I don't have my bicycle. I uh, lock uh, my item secured uh, for now. So I'll prefer to keep an eye out for my item while I train. Maybe do more drills, I don't know, I'll modify the set to suit uh, the, this location itself. But yeah, this is a good spot. Looks like it's quite empty down here. Yeah. Okay, I shall train at gate 15 then. Gate number 15. Yeah, this place is super big. Right. Okay, training time. not that healthy but it's the first store that I because I'm quite, currently running late on time later I have a meeting with a friend uh, so I just found a store which is a QR code straight away order and yeah 
Okay, if not, that's it. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this week's vlog. I think this should be a last entry for this week's vlog. See you guys um, in the next week. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, click my rural fan to subscribe. Actually, I don't know how it works. I still never, I kept saying this click to subscribe here, but I never like enable those options, you know. Go figure out somehow. But yeah, yeah, you can click my profile to subscribe also. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.